Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name's Bernie and I'm here uh, from the Playhouse to do some uh, instrument making with you today. We've been working on a few different instruments and I'll show you some of those today and I will show you how to make a few of your own. Before we start into that, I thought maybe we could sing a wee hello song because it's always nice to say hello when we meet people, isn't it? So, to do our wee hello song, we need to clap our hands and wave hello to each other. We will get started. And if you want to have a wee dance around, that's fine as well. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Now everybody clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands, hello, hello, hello. Everybody jump around, jump around, jump around. Everybody jump around, hello, hello, hello. Hello to all the boys, hello to all the girls. Hello everybody, hello, hello, hello. Now everybody clap your hands. so much for joining in our wee hello song. So let me show you what we've been working on and what we're going to do today. There's loads of instruments that you can make from things that you might have around the house or things that are really easy to find in the shop. So some of the things that we've been making are shakers, just using tape and paper and cups. We've made some lovely rainbow ribbons. We made some castanets just with cardboard and bottle tops. We made a nice drum. And today we're gonna make another drum. It's a, called a hand drum and it looks like this. And if you spin it around in your hands like that, it makes a nice little noise and it looks really nice too. So this little drum has some paper that we've cut into circles, some ribbon. You can use a bead on the end if you like but we had these little jingle bells so I've used those today. I've got a straw here for the handle and then just some stickers to decorate. You can use googly eyes or any stickers that you have or you can draw on it or write your name whatever you'd like to do. So let me show you how we get started. So get some paper which I have here and I'm going to use a wee jar of hot chocolate to trace two circles for the hand drum. So let me find a pen here. So we go all the way around. And we need two of these. Two circles. The next part, we're gonna use some scissors to cut those out. So you might need some grown up help for this part. Well, I'll just get started cutting them out. You can use any kind of paper you want. Um, thicker paper is better. If you have thick paper or even cardboard, that would be better because it just makes the drum a wee bit more sturdy and then the noise is a bit louder when you bang the beads off, off the paper. So there's one circle and there's another one. So this paper I just found in the local shop. Um, they had all different colors, designs, so you can pick whatever you want or you can use something that you have about the house, that's fine too. So here we are, we've got our second circle. The next thing we need is a straw. So let me show you how we're going to put it together. Move my hot chocolate over here. These are the parts that we're going to need. So we've got our two circles, we've got a straw, we've got some beads here, 
and we need a little piece of ribbon. So I've got some ribbon here as well. So you can use a paper straw, which is quite easy to bend because you'd like it to sort of be quite flat in between the two pieces of paper. I had a plastic straw, so I just sort of squished it down at one end. And you're gonna lay your straw in there and your ribbon across the middle and glue them all into place. Um, for this one, I used glue. Today, I might try some glue dots just to see how that works. And they're really handy as well. So let's see how they work. So I'll just put a wee row of them across the middle here for the ribbon. Get them on our paper. There we go. Let's see how they work. The glue works really well, but it takes a while to dry. The good thing about using glue dots, if you have them, is everything is kind of stuck together right away. So, but this one I made yesterday and it was dry really quickly as well. So the glue is fine, but I just thought for something different, we would try the glue dots and see if that works. So I'm gonna put one on our little straw here to make sure that it doesn't move around too much uh, when it's all stuck together. So we glue our little straw down here. Just for extra safety, we'll put some more on the other side. So I'm going to keep sticking here now. We've got our straw in place. We've got our ribbon in place. And the next thing we're going to do is place our two circles together. So once again, I'm going to stick with the glue dots today. See how it works at the end. So I'm going to put a wee row of those all around the edge of this circle and then stick the whole thing together. So we've got one here, one here. That. So we'll just put a few more on and then we'll see how it works. Do -do 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 -do. If you have any instruments that you made at home, make sure and use them and have lots of fun dancing around the house. So some of the other things that we made, we made some jingle sticks as well. Those were great fun and really easy to make. And lots of the things we're making, they're using the same uh, supplies. So we've used ribbon in a few, we've used jingle bells in a few. So I've put my glue dots on the circle and now I've stuck it all together. So that was very quick with the glue dots and then you don't have to wait for the glue to dry. So now we've got our ribbon and we've got our basic shape here. So the next thing we need to do is add some beads or jingle bells, whichever you have handy. And this part is a wee bit fidgety as well. So I'm just gonna put our wee jingle bell on here and tie a wee knot in it. So this might be something that you get some help with from a grown up, just to make sure that they're tied on nice and safely. I might need some help from a grown up to get these tied on myself. So here we go, this one is on. And then we do the same on the other side. There we go. So if you had like um, anything special coming up, like a holiday or Christmas or birthday or Easter, anything, you could decorate it for that season as well. So that's what it sounds like. All we really have left to do now is to decorate it. So I just have a couple of more stickers. I found some nice animal stickers, but you can use whatever you want or you can just draw on it with markers. So we've got this little fella here. Hey there, little guy. We stick him on this side. And then on the other side, we've got this really cute little elephant. So we'll put him on here. There we go, guys. So that's our wee hand drum today. We've got our nice red one. And over here now, we've got our nice blue one. So once again, all you needed was the paper, straw, ribbon, jingle bells, and some glue or glue dots to put it all together. And that's our lovely wee hand drum. So we'll put those over there. And I'm gonna show you one more wee thing before we say goodbye today. This was so quick and fun to do. 
And once again, supplies that are really easy to find. So um, something that everybody could really do. So I got some paper. I bought like a wee small pack of all this shiny paper because it was so pretty. And there was some silver in it. So I decided to make a microphone because all these instruments are fantastic for music, but it's great to have a microphone. Then when I was in the craft shop, I found these polystyrene um, little balls and egg shapes and stuff. So I got some silver paint and a wee sponge and I just kind of dabbed the silver paint all around here and just finish it up and decided I think we can make a microphone out of this. So I stuck this paper together in the shape of a cone. I got my little silver painted styrofoam egg and just stick it in there. And you've got a little microphone. If you'd like to finish it off a wee bit better, I've got some black ribbon, so I'm just gonna stick that on now with a wee bit of tape. And that can be your microphone lead. So we'll just stick this on here now. Do, 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 do. And then also, if you have another piece of tape, you could just tape something on like halfway up the cone here. And that could be your on off button for your microphone if you'd like to. So here we go. We've got our microphone. We've got our wee on off button. And we're all ready to sing a beautiful song. La 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 la. And that's our wee microphone. So that is just ribbon, paper, and a little styrofoam ball from the craft shop that I painted silver. You could use any colors you like. I think black would be really nice for the microphone, the part that you hold, if you had silver at the top. But that's how quickly you can make a wee microphone for yourself at home. If you didn't have a styrofoam ball, but you had like a small bouncy ball at home, you could use that as well. It would work just as well. So that's today's musical instruments, our lovely hand drum and our microphone for having a wee sing. I'm going to finish up now, guys, by giving you a quick reminder. When we make these instruments at home, they are handmade. So we need to be very careful of very young children playing with small parts. And also because they're made by little hands at home, you need to look out for wear and tear. And if you notice that they are sort of breaking down a wee bit, just take them out of the toy box and maybe make a new one. Okay, so how would you like to join me now for a wee goodbye song? Excellent. And if you'd like to jump up for a wee dance again, that would be wonderful. Okay, here we go. You ready then? Make sure to wave goodbye to me as well when you're having a wee dance around. Sing a song every day. Dance around, have fun and play. Make some music, be sweet and kind. Until next time. Goodbye to all the boys. Goodbye to all the girls. Goodbye everybody until next time. Sing a song every day. Dance around, have fun and play. Make some music, be sweet and kind. Until next time. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.